Hello, today we are looking at replacing greenhouse glass. As you can see, we've got broken there and then there's nothing in this um, all the way down. We've taken out that broken glass. Um, so let's see how we go about this. So uh, greenhouse glass is held in by these clips and when they're old, they can get stiff. So Nick's just taking those out. So I'll get her, I can lean over better here for you to see. There we go. That's how they are. So there's two types of greenhouse clips. There's those, and then there's also these, which you can see they're quite dirty and old. Um, we are, what's the date today? 21st. 21st of February today. So we've not been down and cleaned the greenhouse for um, the season yet. So as you can see, these clips are um, rusty and stiff, as I said. So the first thing you'll want to do is get yourself some new clips. Right, so these are the clips I got. I just got them online. And these little ones came in the pack. They are that shape. And then we've also got here one of these nice and shiny and springy much easier to put in you can reuse the old ones but they are a right beggar to get in i tell you um i think this whole pack um there's a hundred there's 50 of each i think there was um i think it was right, it was four pounds something it's not much and they will last a good while right let's look at measuring up for the new pieces now that greenhouse over there is Charlotte and Christians and they had some polycarbonate left over and they gave us some so we are going to use that and this um, whole sheet doesn't quite go up the length and I've put a mark where we need it to be so I'm just going to um, use a spirit level actually that's the straight edge I've got down at the plot and draw my line all the way down now I marked these up and then when I went to cut them, it suddenly occurred to me, of course these aren't polycarbonate, they're perspex. Now you can use either. Given the choice, I would go out and buy polycarbonate because it is cuttable with scissors. But what I've got is perspex, which is not cuttable with scissors. So we had to use um, a super thin blade on a jigsaw to cut these and we've got these to the right shape now. The eagle-eyed among you will notice that Rosie's bed has changed um, in the interim by the magic of television. So it has been a few weeks um, because I had to get the, uh, the, the jigsaw to cut these properly, get the um, proper blade. And in the meantime, Rose has converted this into a bee garden which we're just waiting for some bulbs and seeds to come up. We've got some lavender and heather in there. She has done a video about um, her conversion. She used some seeds from her friend Toby. And unfortunately on that one, you can't leave a comment because it's presented by a child. She's done that all herself. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of her bee garden and her video. But on to the... Um, replacing the glass it's the same uh, concept whether you're using glass or perspex or polycarbonate so let's put it against the hole right now before I put it in the hole because it's perspex it's having trouble focusing it has got um, this film on either side so I'm just going to peel that off right so I've got the bit of perspex in here and then if you, Rosie's being camera woman, if you focus it here, what we need is we've got this here, like this, these clips, and we're just going to tuck these bits behind the glass, for want of a better word. Can you come in closer, Rose? And then these end pieces, they just tuck behind like that. Okay, so let's take that in closer. So these bits are the last bits to go in. You tuck in. Let me just get another one. Not sure how much you saw on that. 
So you have it round this way and this bit here, the curvy bit, is the bit that goes in behind the glass like that. And I can't really do it one handed, but it, it does stay when you've got another hand and then you just lift these out once they're new they're very springy so you can just open them up and they just tuck in behind a little lip here okay so we're going to add a few more down there and um and then do the other side and that is our first pane in now what we do is we get these clips this little bag came in this bag so they do come together when you buy them this is the edge which is probably invisible and I'm just going to hang these clips on like that so you're going to focus no why is my camera not focusing today too much stuff behind it and then I'm just going to pop another one here I do apologize for the focus there we go, that's it. Now Rose is peeling off the um, film, off the perspex. Yep. And when that's done, this, uh, this window is going to look so clean compared to the others. <laughs> yep. Now what we do is we just sit that in there like that. And then that fits up the top and then we're going to just put in some of the I'm going to call these W screw W clips I'm not sure if they are but we're going to just put these in the same as we did before my camera woman has gone so I'm on my own but these are so super easy so you, they sort of bend outwards. So you have these bits down the top. Going in. Can I do this one handed? And you push that round. I can't do it one handed. There we go. Push that one round like that. Make sure this little bit is behind the glass. And then you tuck that one in as well okay and then we're just going to go around and um, secure the glass in with those clips right, so Rose is going to have a go now push it up there we go Wow even a nine-year-old can do it yes you can do the other side Put one, put one in about there. Um, other way around, darling, that's it. Right, now because we've switched sides, hang on, it's like that. Okay? Up the top. down at the bottom. Wow, how easy was that? Easy! So anyone can do it. Can you do what? Well, I think that, oh, we, we've got some at the top, but we'll do them in a minute. So there we go. There's our piece of greenhouse perspex replaced. You can see from this middle one, this has got several um, panes of glass in it, but as the perspex was that big, I just thought, well, we'll just have it to the size it's at. So that is how easy it is to replace some greenhouse glass. So thanks for joining us. Now I've got my little DIYer with me. <laughs> we can finish the rest. Yep. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.